Hello and welcome. I'm sure you're asking yourself just as much as I even questioned it. What is that? How is this even possible? But, um, yeah, I uh, decided to see what the LV-1 engine can do. I, I started off with just a command module, parachute, and about eight or ten of them, I don't even remember. I was surprised that I could actually get a little bit of a lift from it. So I decided that maybe I should try this on a bigger scale. This is actually a smaller version of another one I made, but if you guys like watching a slideshow, which I don't, um, yeah, I couldn't, my computer just can't handle a thousand parts, well, over a thousand parts, I'm pretty sure that nobody can, but anyways, might as well show you what this guy can do, so, off to launch. This is actually my first episode, and, um, I'm gonna maybe make a few more, I'm not really sure what to do with this, but I figured I might as well show everyone out there what this bad boy can do. It doesn't achieve orbit, but I'm sure if someone else out there that has a computer, or if it's even possible to even support a thousand, over a thousand parts, um, maybe you can achieve an orbit off of just an LV-1 engine. I still don't understand fully how this thing can in the cockpit. I feel sorry for him. But, I mean, this wouldn't be a Kerbal Space Program without him. But, at the same time, Bill and Jeff Dye and Bob, they're uh, in a better place right now. They're actually on a space station I uh, built. But I'm having problems with it. I don't know if anyone else is having problems with the space station. Now, I don't understand why, but I don't, I was looking into it, and I don't know if it's the multiple SAS modules, or if it's just that, the fact that it can't support that many pieces, I don't know, I don't have, like, the best computer, but, I mean, I'm running this game basically off of a laptop. So, surprisingly, we got up to an engine shut off around, what, 12, 13,000 meters? Well, I should say uh, kilometers. And surprisingly, it reaches about, I think it was 18 or 19. I did a few test launches on this beforehand. But overall, this thing is just, I, I don't even understand how it even flies. This is just absurd. Well, time to splash down. I really need to figure out a way to, uh, I wish I could do this on a large scale. It'd be amazing to get this thing into orbit. But well, uh, this is my uh, first episode, and thank you for watching. Um, hopefully there'll be more to come.